Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Quinn here, and today we are talking about a new signing the Chicago Bulls have made for one of the first times in the past few years in Bulls history. The Bulls have made a good idea. They have signed Billy Donovan. If you don't know who Billy Donovan, Billy Donovan is a coach who was the coach for the OKC Thunder last year and was this close to winning Coach of the Year behind the legend himself, Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse definitely deserved to win it, but Billy Donovan was also up there. Um, Budenholzer is in that discussion as well, but I don't think Budenholzer was just there because he did have Giannis on his team, and the Bucks were expected to be a very good team. But other than that, um, the Bulls, just crazy that they signed Billy Donovan. I thought they were going to sign Kenny Atkinson, not Billy Donovan. But, you know, things happen. I wasn't expecting this, but it happened. Um, I thought they were going to sign Kenny Atkinson because Kenny Atkinson is known for getting players better. Like, in New York, he got Dinwiddie better, Levert better. And I was thinking maybe they sign him to get Markin better and Kobe White better and all their other young pieces. But they went a different route and went for one of the best coaches in the league. Um, the old Thunder coach. I can't even remember his name and this video is on him. Yeah, so the Bulls have signed Billy Donovan. I was not expecting them to make this signing, as I've said multiple times. I was expecting Kenny Atkinson to be their head coach. I wonder where Kenny Atkinson is going to go now. But also, I guess this is going to turn into a Bulls video. I'm not a Bulls fan, as you can see. I've got a Raptors eating the Warriors shirt on. But, you know, we got to talk about other teams on this channel, because not all of you are Raptors fans. Um... This is kind of turning into a slight podcast, but it's also not a podcast. This is just going to be a quick three, four, five minute video. I'm down in my basement right now, and that's why I'm loud, because nobody's upstairs. And I've got my green screen in the back. You won't be able to see the green screen, obviously. You're going to see a cool looking picture behind me. More than likely going to be some sort of a Bulls background, just because this video is on the Bulls. If you can't tell, I'm trying to slightly push this video um, just to make it so you guys have a little bit more. And this is kind of interesting. I am trying to get the green screen here, and it, I think it's going to work. Um, my setup in front of me looks ridiculous. I've got like a weird stand. It's like a drawer thing with my tripod all weird because it's not very steady. So my if the camera is slightly wrong way i'll get it fixed for the next video um i'm thinking the next video is more than likely gonna be a raptors video 2k um not much in 2k right now waiting for next gen and once i think of ideas i will start posting more 2k videos but i think next video we're gonna cover the raptors and what they should do in the off season I can't exactly remember what pick the Chicago Bulls have this year, but I think it is top 10, if I am not mistaken. Um, hopefully they can pick a good player and get their team back and rolling. I'm definitely not a Chicago fan, but I've got nothing against the Bulls, so I'd like to see the Bulls do well again, because the Bulls fans have had a rough few years since Derrick Rose and Jimmy Butler left. And... Yeah, to see Jimmy Butler killing the Celtics like he is right now and just destroying the playoffs, it's kind of crazy to see him go from pretty good in Chicago. Chicago probably should have kept him, but he's being he's been great on the Heat this year. Bam at a Bam at a bio with his insane block. You know the strength that takes to take the ball from somebody in a forward motion. Like his hand was all the way back. We gotta turn this into something. We gotta make this some sort of series. This is kind of fun just talking to the camera about basketball games. Um, I know the main part of this. It's kind of like a podcast, but I can actually talk loud because my I'm in the basement. There's actually good sound. I just get told to be quiet if I'm upstairs. Probably not, but I don't want to be too loud upstairs. So yeah. I'm not sure what else I can say about this, it's just I thought I should make a video on this, so some of the newest signings are 
Um, if you guys haven't heard, it was like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, the Nets signed um, Steve Nash to be their head coach. And now the Bulls have signed the old OKC coach, Billy Donovan, to be their head coach. Um, I wonder who OKC is going to sign now. Uh, it seems like everybody thought it was a firing of Billy Donovan. They did not fire Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan and OKC decided to part ways, and it was a mutual agreement. Um, I don't think OKC would have fired him, but they're not. They can't hold him. I think he quit basically. But yeah, so he is now on the Chicago Bulls. Um, I know the coaches and everything. But maybe he'll be able to spark something in this young Chicago Bulls team that um, Jim Boylan couldn't. I'm not sure if he's ever going to get a coaching job again, but we'll see. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. It's been Quinn, and I'll be back tomorrow or the next day with another video. I'm not sure I'm back to school, so my schedule is a little bit messed up for YouTube. But... Thank you all for watching. It's been Quinn. I'll be back whenever with another video. I'm out.